Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about how your faves are problematic. So, if you're on Tumblr, you might have seen the blog or heard the phrase before your fave is problematic, and it basically means that, okay, this person who is a celebrity, who is famous, who you really look up to, has also done some things that are bad, or said some things that are harmful or offensive, and that they should be, like, that, that should be addressed. And I agree with that concept. I think that people everyone is able to make statements that are harmful everyone is able to be problematic and no one is like no one has <clears throat> gone through their life and never said anything problematic even if it was by accident everybody's still done it like at least once in their lives if not more because you don't come out of the womb aware of social justice issues and that's just kind of how it is however i think that you can like someone, accept that they are problematic, and still enjoy what they do. Not like like the person, but you can enjoy the stuff that they make. For example, if your favorite musician is problematic, I understand that a lot of people have called out Panic at the Disco, particularly Brendan Urie himself, for being sexist or misogynistic. And <clears throat> I acknowledge that. I like their music, but I will acknowledge that they have done that. I know that some people have called out Pathala Boy in the past for using like Native American imagery and shit. And while well, I know the Fall Out Boy has like moved on in terms of uh, correcting their mistakes and stuff and coming back from that, I also <coughs> I also um, I also would accept if somebody had a valid criticism of Fall Out Boy as my favorite band that okay yeah and then like see that and accept that but still enjoy the music um who else do i like Pfft. what a weird question um in terms of like uh my favorite book series the ender saga like the author of those is hugely homophobic and i accept that he's homophobic and i won't try to defend him from anyone calling him a homophobe but i still enjoy his novels quite a lot <clears throat> and so i think you can accept that your fave is problematic and still enjoy their media however the problem problems can kind of get worse when their media is the part that's problematic because it's like ooh, ooh, ooh. but either way i think that sometimes this whole your favorite problematic thing can go a bit too far and can be clutching at straws um my prime example of this from the your favorite problematic blog is taylor swift now i'm going to preface this with some of these things that are on her your favorite problematic list are valid i understand but other things i feel like there is a bit of clutching at straws going on there and that you need to at some point you need to realize that people change and that things that have happened in the past you can mature and move on from those things and that you can grow as a person and no longer do those things yeah you get me okay let's go so first of all you have taylor swift's homophobic song lyrics where she said so go ahead and tell your friends that i'm obsessive and crazy that's fine i'll tell mine you're gay she later apologized and changed the song lyrics so obviously somebody called her out on that and it made big enough of a deal that she actually changed what she did someone called her out and being respectful she changed her song lyrics so that she wasn't offending people and um, she posed with a fan who had a swastika on his shirt she says that she didn't realize what was on his shirt and i can totally believe that i can i can buy that like she's posing with a fan she probably has to do that hundreds of times a day and she doesn't take notice of what the fan is wearing, what the fan is doing, like she just takes a photo with her fans because it's hard, it'd look bad if she ever denied a fan a photo. Um, appropriation of the kimono and geisha imagery. Of course, cultural appropriation is fucking awful and shouldn't be done, but also what the, like the earliest, the most recent thing I could find about Taylor Swift appropriating Komodo and Geisha imagery was from five years ago. So I think it is totally totally possible that like she made a mistake then, she acknowledged it and she moved on from it and 
hasn't done it since because she doesn't she knows now that it's not okay um appropriated cornrows as a, as a child again in the past like she looks about 14 in that picture she was 14 12 years ago like again moving on and growing up and changing and stuff like that then there's the one about the virgin whore the madonna whore the good girl bad girl dichotomy slut shaming blah 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 but a lot of people and i will always defend taylor swift over this part particularly her music has changed since she first came into the public eye and her music has definitely moved away from that kind of slut shaming thing and now she has moved into empowering all women of all shapes and sizes of all walks of life both slutty women and virgins you know like going for everyone and that you don't like you don't get like um there's gonna be there's a word coming to my head yeah but like she's moved on from there she is like in recent times become a lot more aware feminism and how her music in the past has been a problem you know so i think that some of the stuff that is pointed out there that would imply that taylor swift is problematic isn't called for and i think that sometimes when it comes to being problematic and calling our faves problematic we go a bit too far and we don't give we don't remain aware of the fact that our faves are human that they're not just they're not fictional characters they're not free of flaws they are human they can make mistakes and they can move on from those mistakes and mature from those mistakes so thank you for watching if you like this video please click the like button down there if you want to subscribe to my channel the button is down there if you have any response to me feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye